okay, so if you recall in the last video, we talked about um, the trachea, and then we start, then when we finished, we were talking about the bronchi, which are right here. So that's what we're gonna be talking about in this video is what happens after the trachea. So like we said, you get the bronchi, the trachea forms two branches, the right and left primary bronchi. So if we take a look, it will look like we just saw, here's my trachea, and then I have the right, I'm sorry, the left, and then the right, the right, and then the left primary bronchi. Remember, you're looking from the person's point of view. Your left bronchi is on your left side. So this is my left primary bronchi over here, and this would be my right primary bronchi that's over here. All right, right there, okay? And then um, they form the bronchi branch, which is gonna be secondary bronchi. And they, these are gonna ventilate a lobe. So they're gonna go into a lobe. So let's take a look at this real fast. So this is what we mean by it will ventilate a lobe. Again, here's my trachea, here's my primary bronchi. And now once I get into here, it's gonna split into secondary bronchi. And this here, the lung is divided into lobes. So you can see there's a lobe there. And then the right lung actually has three lobes. The left lung has two lobes. So this is what we mean is the fact that this comes in, it starts to split up and go into the different lobes of the lung. You can see it, it comes all the way down to here. And you can see this is going into a lobe there. You got this going down to a lobe there. You can't really see it, but there's another one coming off here. So those are gonna be my secondary bronchi. So then after the primary bronchi, like we just said, you get the secondary bronchi, which is gonna ventilate each lobe. And lobes are just sections of the lungs. So the lung is actually divided into different sections. Um, and then the secondary bronchi are gonna go on to form tertiary bronchi, which we'll look at in just a minute. And then the tertiary bronchi, like it says here, is going to branch repeatedly and the smooth muscle increases. Now, the reason the smooth muscle increases is because when we're in the upper part of the lungs, you want the bronchi to just stay open. But as you get down to the smaller parts, you allow for it to open and close a little bit more. So let's go ahead and take a look. And then if we look here, here's my primary bronchi. It says bronchus because that's plural. Both sides would be bronchi. And then we get the secondary bronchus, which is going to be cutting off into this way, but also this way. And then we get tertiary. So my secondary is going to split again. And that's my tertiary bronchi. Now these will continue on just like this does. Okay, so again, I get my primary bronchus, or if I'm talking about both, plural is bronchi. I get my secondary, which goes this way, and this way, and this way. Okay, then I'm gonna get my tertiary, which is this, and this, and this. So my secondary breaking again. This would also be considered tertiary right here. Okay, just because it's the next, the next part it splits. All right, and then as it says there, you get smaller bronchi. So I get smaller bronchi breaking off. Then it's going to get real small. And this is where my smooth muscles usually come in. If you notice, there's not that much cartilage here anymore. All this bluish gray stuff is cartilage. If you notice down here, I don't have very much cartilage, but I have more smooth muscles. So these are the bronchioles. And then I get my terminal bronchioles. And then my respiratory bronchioli. And then alveoli. Alveoli is not a bronchioli. Okay, alveoli is not a bronchioli. It is the alveoli is where gases are exchanged. Let me see if I can go back just a little bit. The alveoli is where gases are exchanged. If you notice, they look like a bunch of little bubbles. So in the next video, we'll be talking about the alveoli. So that's basically it for the bronchi or the bronchioles, the bronchial tree for right now. Um, I can't really write that well with this pen, but I'm gonna try it anyway. So I'm going to have my primary bronchi, 
R Y is primary. I think that's a math term, right? So I'm going to have my primary bronchi coming off the trachea. And then you'd have secondary. Right? Secondary bronchi coming off of the primary. Then you're going to have tertiary, which I think tertiary is another is a word for three. So I'm going to have tertiary bronchi. And then I would have my, hold on, I got something on my screen that you can't see. Then I'm going to have my, um, I'm going to go straight to bronchioles. Right? And these actually have names too. So I got my bronchioles. All right, and then I'm going to have my terminal bronchi, which you would think the terminal bronchi would be the end, but I'm just going to put TB for terminal bronchi because as you can see, I can't write very much with this, and I know you don't want to sit there and wait for me to write stuff out. And then I would have my respiratory bronchi. And then from there, it's going to go into my alveoli. I'm going to just put it off to the side here just simply because of the fact that um, I'm running out of room. Alveoli. And I, sorry, this should be my V and this should be my E. O. L. I. Okay. And so basically this is my bronchial tree coming like this. Uh, right here. I don't think the alveoli is considered part of the bronchial tree. And that's it.